there, it's Catherine. Welcome to the second collaboration between Laura, Laurel, and me. Today we're going to be using some Lawn Fawn goodies, a stamp set, and two different dies to come up with a fun project. Last time we did this, you guys said you really liked seeing how different our projects were, so I bet they're going to be really different again, so I can't wait to see what they come up with. After you watch this video, be sure to hop over to the next video. Leave comments on our videos on YouTube to be entered to win this set of supplies for yourself. All right, let's get started. Now Laura, Laurel and I are using the Toboggan Together stamp set and coordinating dies, and then this really fun snowy backdrop die as well. Okay, so I stamped them in VersaFine, and then I did a clear embossing powder over the top, and I did some playing around because I wasn't quite sure how I wanted to color the presents, so it took me a little, a little bit, a few minutes to figure that out, and I decided to go with light wrapping paper and darker bows. Pretty simple, just gonna color these in with my Zig markers. You can use other watercoloring mediums, you can use other markers, you can even use colored pencils. You can use Copic markers, you can shade. I'm just doing really simple coloring. Yeah, those came out adorable. And then to color in these little penguins, pretty easy. I have my black zig marker. You can color it in completely, or you can just add a little color and then grab a water brush and add some water and get that color moving around. And then you'll get a little bit of shading in there. So some spots will be a little bit lighter. Actually, I have quite a bit of ink on here, so it's not really that much lighter. Maybe not even lighter at all. You might not be able to tell. So I have a piece of scrap paper, so I'll just run my water brush off on there to clean it out. And then I'll grab some orange for his feet and beak. And then I'll grab my dies and I'll cut these out. So now I've got these cutie little guys all cut out and they're so stinking adorable. And I thought, you know what? They really need to be on a sled. <laughs> so I'll uh, color this and cut it out real quick. And then we'll see what else we're gonna do with this card. I'm using a little bit of darker red here just to get a tiny bit of shading. Now the next step is to make a background with this little die cut plate. So I'm just going to add my cardstock right on top and we'll run it through the Big Shot. Now here it is fresh out of the Big Shot. It has all these little circles and stars die cuts. It's totally cute. I'm doing a whole lot of arguing right here with myself about whether to keep this white or not. And I'm giving in, I'm doing it in color. I was thinking about sponging it, but since I already have it cut out, I wasn't sure that it would come out the way I wanted it to. Mm, I'm not really sure, I'm sure it would have come out fine. But then I thought, you know, let me just do my Zig markers. I'm gonna spray it down with some water and I'm gonna let that color blend. I want it to be a really light blue background, just really subtle. This cardstock is basil marshmallow, so it takes the water really well. Now I think that is a little bit too light. I think I want it a little darker, so let's do this. Now I'm using the blues that I use to color in the present, so those blues will coordinate with each other. Now my issue with doing all this water is now I have a piece of warpy cardstock. <laughs> I'm gonna use a lot of liquid glue here. I'm not worrying about it getting all over so that maybe it'll seep through the top, um, like through the little stars and circles. I'm not worried about that. Now I've stamped my greeting on a little white strip and I've made it into a banner and we'll put it uh, middle toward the top and then I'm gonna add all of these little cutie pieces <laughs> so they will just be sitting on the little banner let's see oh my gosh these are so adorable this one he's got to be hanging on to this little string pulling the, the sled so let me take that sled off and add some dimensional adhesive because it has to sit on top of this little string and then it's bulky underneath there. So I think that'll work out a little better. 
We'll add the presents right on top and the second little penguin. Oh my gosh, this is so stinking cute. Oh, how cute, how cute, how cute. All right, uh, I'm gonna peel him up. I'm gonna put him on dimensionals too because he was kind of sitting on top of the present, so he was kind of wonky. So we'll just add a little dimensional there. Oh my gosh, so adorable. One last little touch here. I'm just adding a little bit of distressed stickles in all those little open spots, all the little stars and the circles. And then I think I'll sprinkle just a little tiny bit of glitter on so the Distress Stickles isn't quite as glittery as I want, so I'm just taking a clear iridescent sparkle glitter. This is by Stampin' Up! It's called Dazzling Diamonds. And I'm just tapping some excess glitter on there. So now here is the end result. I thank you so much for being here with me, and I can't wait to see what Laurel and Laura come up with using these very same supplies. If you like this video, Give me a thumbs up, be sure to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you again soon.